Yo, what's up, man? I'm Chad. I'm from Oregon. I like skateboarding. Oh, sick. You like skateboarding. Cool. I'm not very good at skateboarding, but bang, we're in conversation. It's sick, and I learned something new today. Woo! All right, this is Young Blood, and this is everything I do in a day. Technically, it depends on what time I got to bed, but I'm saying this because it makes me look like I got my shit together. At 8.45 a.m. in the morning, I open my eyes. Usually when I'm on tour, someone will wake me up. I'm just kind of like, where are we today? And like, Chicago, I'm like, sick. I roll out of my bunk on tour and walk in to the front lounge and usually say rather energetically, good f***ing morning. And everyone's in the bunks like, shut up man, we're still sleeping. Hopefully, we've pulled into the loading dock. I get off the bus, usually stretch out like this. Oh, walk into the venue and get a shower. Go and wash me winky. I just kind of turn it on, put on some music. It's usually like The Cure, The Smiths, The Jam, Amy Winehouse. Turn the shower on so it's red hot. Walk in the shower and just probably sing along to whatever's playing. I wake up with chronic anxiety. So I just like, I want something to make me upbeat. You know what I mean? I call it like my bacon sandwich playlist. For a British person, there's nothing better than a bacon sandwich in the morning. And if I don't have access to a bacon sandwich, I put on a bacon sandwich playlist to, in my head, make me feel like I'm at home on a Sunday morning eating a bacon sandwich and it makes me feel happy. I'm quite a long shower taker, rather selfishly. Sometimes I use up the hot water before anyone's woke up and then I lie and be like, oh, fucking Ben, you don't have hot water, bastards. Don't ask me what I'm doing in the shower. <laughs> just got out of the shower, I just got a wardrobe on the bus, and it's pretty easy, to be honest. It's usually black clothes, pink socks, and some creepers. All right, so it's about 9.30 in the morning, and I'm gonna run out to go and get myself a cup of coffee to say to someone in the venue. Where's the nearest coffee shop? I'm gonna say down the road, take a right, take a left, blah, blah, blah. So go get a coffee, because it's not about the coffee. It's about the conversation, like, hello, what's your name? Yo, what's up, man? I'm Chad, I'm from Oregon, I like skateboarding. I'm like, oh, sick, you like skateboarding, cool. I'm not very good at skateboarding, but bang, we're in conversation, it's sick, and I learned something new today. Woo! After I've got my cup of coffee, I have a walk around the city that I'm in, because I, I really like to make a big effort about seeing things. I'm not really good at eating breakfast, so normally my Australian tour manager that you met earlier is like, Dom, you gotta get some breakfast in your mind. Terrible. So she's like, here's a bacon sandwich, here's some oatmeal, here's some fruit. I eat it and then I do my thing, you know what I mean? So I'm running around, I'm talking and weirding out interviewers and I'm eating breakfast against my will. Before my granddad died, Rest in peace, I used to get him a fridge magnet in loads of different cities. I still try and get as many as I can because, I don't know, I love weird things like little finger puppets and stuff, you know what I mean? Something that's like really important to me is my fan base and my community. So I'm, I always like pop my head out and say hello and if it's cold, I bring it out a cup of tea to people in the line. My fan base and family, they're fucking mad, man. They're outside for like two days before. So I've got to make sure they're fed and watered like little flowers, man. At this point in the day, I'm like sat in a green room, having a couple beers. My ideal rider is Stella Artois, as much of it as you can carry. And a bottle of whiskey, a bottle of red wine, I love a Mars bar and a cup of tea. Yorkshire tea, specifically. Milk, one sugar, dip my Mars bar into it. Take a bite of my Mars bar, happy Dom. Bag of crisps, which are chips in America. I put on the bottom, surprise me. Some days you'll get underpants, some days you'll get a local sweet of some kind. And it's like sick. I love it. This morning, I might have spotted some cool badges or patches or something, and I'm in the thing, like, fucking up a pair of jeans that I bought the day before, or, like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like craft noon time. Typically, on a tour day, unless it's, like, album or EP release week, I'm chilling till, like, 4 p.m. At that point, I'm in the venue, running around, and I hear... 
Because people are setting up. You know what I mean? And it's my favourite thing ever when that starts happening because I'm like, oh yeah, we're playing a fucking show tonight, baby. We have a conversation, put the guitars on, do sound check, which is one of my favourite parts today because we just get to fucking jam. We'll just start jamming Rage Against the Machine or once we did Justin Bieber. Like, fuck it. So it's 5 pm, we just did sound check. Um, I'm not going to eat, man, because I'll be sick. Because I jump around like a bunny rabbit on stage, you know what I mean? We're going on in four hours, so. Bit more drinking out. I usually sign a lot of like posters or I'll sign like a hundred vinyl. You know what I mean? That sit on the on the merch stand. Play a game of cards. Um, it's like a fucking poker room at the back. Everyone's like playing cards and smoking or whatever. At 6 p.m. I let people in. Um, every show I allow the first hundred people in line in for a free meet and greet. The thing about me is I write songs about my fan base and the people I meet. I can't be naive to my fan base. I want to hear what they're thinking and what stories they've been through. So it's 7 p.m. Usually doors open now. There's usually speakers in the dressing rooms with the crowd mics on so you can hear like, you know what I mean? People talking shit and I'm just like in the dressing room with me mates. I will not get ready till 8 p.m. I start to put my makeup on, I start to do my haircut, the music gets turned on. It's usually Oasis, a lot of Britpop, Travis Scott, Joy Division, Blondie, Madonna, Lady Gaga, to kind of get us in the zone. I usually like have a set uniform for the tour because I want our tours to be like a fucking circus train, man. You're gonna come round and you're gonna see the same template but it's going to be completely fucking different it puts me ears in and then we fucking walk to the stage intro tape starts a list of people i love before i go on stage like, blah, 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 blah. go i love you mum love you dad love you Jim, love you izzy walk on stage from 9 15 to 10 30 i have the best fucking time in me, me life in that moment, I'm like, I get to be who I am, and they do too, and it's this fucking bond. If like, you're out there and you've been to a Youngblood show, you're everything to me, and it feels like the feeling's mutual. Okay, 10.30, um, show ends, we walk off, encore, I'm like, how's oh, that? And Jess is usually way inside the stage, bottle of water, like, oh yeah, fucking good show, mate, great, mate. Drink fucking water, go back on stage, do three songs. And then after the last song, it's fucking stage is smashed up. 11 p.m., I walk outside and madness erupts and it's fucking sick. And 11.30, I get in the shower because I'm sweaty as fuck, man. I look like I've just been rained on. Wash me winky so I smell nice. I put some leather pants on, a bit more makeup. So it's probably moving on a whiskey time. Go to the pub and just fucking rage, man, and like celebrate the show. I'm stood on top of a bar, squirting the soft drinks at people like a water gun. Go get some late night food. My favourite's Chinese. Fucking love noodles, spring rolls, hoisin duck, chicken and black bean, fried rice, curry sauce, and then some like ice cream to top it off. And then I go, Fuck, my alarm clock's gonna go off at 8.45. I better go to bed. Get on the bus, throw up, drink some water. I wash my face with water. I don't usually have a face wash. Engine turns on, that makes me sleepy. I go, walk up to my bunk, get inside my bunk. I tried a double bed, didn't like it. Like my bunk, I feel like I'm in a coffin. It's sick. I'll probably put on a little series on my phone to help me fall asleep. I love a terrible rom-com. I love, like, fucking Ghost of Girlfriend's Past, uh, I'll Lose a Guy in 10 Days, or a horror movie. It's very polar opposite with me. One night I'm watching, like, Silence of the Lambs or a fucking war film, and then the next night I'm watching Kate Winslet snogging Leonardo DiCaprio on a raft. And then the bus rocks me to sleep gently, and I go to bed the happiest in the world because of the people who come to the shows. That's my community. That's, like what I literally live and breathe for. I, I fucking love what I do, and I hope I get to do it forever. Thank you so much for having me, Vanity Fair. That's everything I do in a day. See you later.